Hör mir. Du, ja. Day one, done and dusted. Well, a couple of hours and we did just strip the jerk, move the bats. And yeah, that's it. Next day it is a smash out that wall because we are putting in this line here a wall across to make that our walk-in wardrobe. So there is another cupboard for another bedroom on the other side of that. And we're gonna smash that out, put a door in there, ensuite, walk-in wardrobe. Fill all this in with a wall, probably make a high window across there, and then fill that in, and then bathroom. Hello. Morning guys, it is Labour Weekend and most people have probably gone away but we are here renovating um, so we're going to make the most of our extra day off to get as much done as possible. Um, Johan's dad is coming over soon and we are going to attack the ensuite and we're going to get rid of the sliding door there, fill it in with drywall. Um, this will hopefully go today and we want to put in a longer, narrow window. Um, we're going to fill these walls in, so this wall will be filled in, um, so this bedroom at the moment won't have a wardrobe. This will get knocked out, um, and then we will build a wall along here for the walk-in wardrobe. Um, I will be masking out where I want everything um, that we have just ordered, so I think I'm going to put the toilet there shower there, vanity along there, and then we'll put the towel rail over there or something like that. So that is what we are doing. Um, we are also building a plinth for the hot water cylinder that we bought second hand for about $400 off someone. Um, and that is going into this cupboard here. So I need to clear that out my first job this morning after I have a coffee. So it will go over here. And I'm really looking forward to it because I haven't had hot, hot showers and they haven't been enjoyable. Here's Johan with his morning coffee and that is the current hot water cylinder. Yuck. Yeah, it is. You can't even access it. <laughs> so it's, this used to be the kitchen cupboard. So, yeah. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. Man himself. <laughs> Batman. <laughs>
Good afternoon guys, today we got our bathroom accessories delivered to us from Trade Depot. Um, behind us you can see the shower tray, uh, the toilet is over here along with the basin and shower mixer set, the shower slider. Um, the rest of the things are in the shed apart from the only thing that didn't get delivered was our wall vanity that will go over here. Um, we discovered it wasn't in there, investigated and it's apparently on back order in the only stock that New Zealand has is in Christchurch, so not sure when we're going to have that delivered, but apparently they'll get back to us. Here I've got the plumber in today, and he put this in and installed it for us, disconnected the old hot water cylinder, um, and instead of a plinth we decided to get a tray, was that right, for mm. the hot water cylinder. Um, I'm a little bit gutted, I thought that the hot water cylinder was going to go over there, but it's too big, but that's okay. We'll make use of putting some shelves still in there um, on either side, and we'll have to just make some really good use of space in this one for obviously a linen and towel cupboard. Alright, so ripping up the carpet in the um, master bedroom, it looks like un under the underlay, it's a prick, they've got um. Oh, old newspaper and it looks in such good condition. Look at the old cars, the old rugby boots. And there should be a date on the top. Nineteen fifty nine, June twelfth. Yeah, Carl. Mm. Maybe we could frame it. Yeah, we could try and find a cool piece, so uh, sixty years ago. Cool. Happy Sunday everyone, Johan left at 4am this morning to go down to the South Island to train a whole lot of people for about 4 or 5 days, so I have the house to myself until then. Uh, it's been raining all morning and we thought that we patched all the holes in the roof up but there are still a couple left so luckily I have put my trusty watering can and pot to save the day uh, until we fix those. Um, I'm going to be going to a couple of stores today to try and find some of the things that we are wanting to purchase. So I'll be finding a pendant for this room in the master room. So I bought this pendant from Lighting Direct for the master bedroom. You can adjust the suspension there. I've also bought these from Lighting Direct uh, that are going to go in the other bedroom. We're going to mount these to the ceiling I think and then I've got bulbs on order for both of these because uh, they didn't have them available and those were those were 40% off and all up $210. Morning everyone, um, today we've put putty in all the door frames and architraves and scotias and skirting and um, right now we're just sanding it back just getting it ready for pry. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's in the ensuite. And this is in the ensuite. It's always fun. Oh, evening everyone, um, tonight I'm going to try and get the first, well only pre prime coat on the ensuite, hopefully. Yeah, it's all sanded, um, it's looking all good, it's all been gap filled. Um, yeah, that's the plan, pre prime First bit of paint we're going to put on the walls, so that's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Finished our first coat of primer. Um, we are probably going to do two just because we are amateur painters and two uh, coats of primer just makes a better finish in the end. Um, first time painting, not too bad. No idea how it is, is actually going to turn out, but yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Mm, better. Hey guys, so I've taken some time off work today to get ahead of the painting in the ensuite. Uh, as soon as we get this done, then we can obviously get the plumber back in to install the shower, toilet and vanity. So last night Johan and I finished priming the walls, so we have put on two coats, walls and ceilings and trims. And now our next step is to obviously paint the official colour we want. So first things first, I will mask where I don't want the paint, start on the trims, add two coats, the ceiling, and then the walls. So, 
first time ever painting inside. I've done gates and fences before and the outside of a house but nothing on the inside so fingers crossed. Johan's finishing off the ceiling for me, the second coat, because I am finding it really hard. <laughs> really hurts my neck. Whoa. <laughs> morning guys, I've had a very productive morning today, got up at 4.30am and then finished my second coat of quarter iron on the wall. So you can see I've got a little bit too slack heavy here, you can definitely see it. <laughs> Whoops, don't know what I was doing there. Bought a three dollar sample here from out of ten. Obviously, we're doing a lot, uh, so we're not going to continue on with the wood, especially in a wet area. So the cheaper option is to go for a vinyl uh, click tile, and yeah, basically they will just click in. They're all waterproof, scratch resistant, and they come in long planks. These. Now I'm off to work. I was so lucky and asked my boss if I could have an hour, an hour of annual leave and she approved it. So that's how I was able to finish today, just with an extra hour. Hey guys, I'm super excited this morning to be meeting the floor guy. Um, he's going to be sanding and putting polyurethane on all the floorboards in the house. Uh, so I'm going to go over some samples with him this morning just on what stain I would prefer on the wood. Uh, we were going to do this ourselves initially but decided that it was actually um, quite a big project. Uh, we were only sanding the floors back with a hand sander. <laughs> Johan did a beautiful job, but it's just really time consuming working full time and um, having a time frame on getting the house done. So he's just going to go over everything again, make it a little bit deeper with that sanding and then um, coat it. So this is the master, so that's going to get done. Here is a little sneak peek at the sanding being done by machines that are way better than our hand sander. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we go, without further ado, here is our master bedroom. We are really happy with how it's turned out. So if you can remember, we had pink carpet on the floor before this, so we have ripped this up and sanded, polyurethaned and put a matte finish on our remove floorboards. We have put up some eyelet curtains with some silver curtain rods and some finishes on the end. We have kept the original wardrobe uh, for now just due to costs and later on we can fill this in and hopefully allow the other bedroom on the other side to have two wardrobes instead of one. We have put up a pretty cool glass pendant light. And this room didn't used to be here. If you can remember, this was half of the office. And this side of the room was the other side to the wardrobe in the other bedroom, which we have taken away to create a walk-in wardrobe. So we've put up a really basic, organized wardrobe system. It's just a wire one from Mitre 10. And so it just fits everything in there. It actually does the trick. Really simple. Uh, we had chipboard underneath this floor, so we have added in some vinyl floor clipboards and tried to match as best as possible to our other floorboards. And this is the original door to the ensuite. So if you can remember, we had a ranch lighter at the back, so we've filled this in and we have taken out the massive window and added in a frosted window. Uh, didn't end up spray painting it white in the end, but that's okay. Have added in a mirror, some basic subway tiles, and a floating vanity. We have put in a heated towel rail, a very simple shower, and the toilet, which is tucked away in the corner. I uh, haven't put up some floating shelves yet, so we will do that later. 
but we are super happy with it and again the flooring is the same as the wardrobe so vinyl flooring clipboards which are good for wet areas as well